All right, it's time for Madden NFL Week 12 simulation here on Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham. Bears rolling 7-3 and three in our sims this year. Vikings 4-6. and six. If this is your first time joining us, uh, check out our Madden simulation playlist on the channel by subscribing and going to playlists. You can go check out all the prior games as well as I provide play-by-play -play commentary of every single matchup for the Bears 2024 season as we get you guys ready for the 2024 season. All right, predict the score. Bears, Vikings, who wins? What's the final score? Uh, let me know in the comments. And remember, I don't know the outcomes of these sims. My production, or the producers here at Chat Sports, they run the simulations. Producer Cullen, our Bears Now producer, he knows what's coming, but I do not. Uh, so uh, that is just the way it is. Uh, here's what's happened up to this point. Uh, it's a four and three start through the first seven games, first eight weeks of the season. Uh, and now uh, have won three games in a row. Cardinals, Patriots, Packers all on the trot. And uh, now the Vikings come to town today. So, uh, And by the way, just for our live schedule, we're not going to have another one of these until Friday, July 12th because I am going on vacation for about seven or eight days from uh, uh, this Thursday until uh, next Friday. We'll be back live next Friday. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. All right, Cullen. Bears, Vikings, get y'all score predictions in. I have no idea if it's Sam Darnold or J.J. McCarthy, so this ought to be interesting. Oh, it looks like J.J. I think I saw a number nine in there. You would be correct. They've sir. made the switch by this point, so J.J. McCarthy it is. It's a rookie quarterback battle. If there was ever a time for a Montez Sweat, just yes. homecoming. Please. That would be nice. That would be nice. Break the score, though. I'll give some shout-outs. Logan, 35-13. Hopefully that's for the Bears. Tyler, going 21-10 Bears. 28-7 Nick. Steven, 28-24. I obviously know the score, so I'm not going to give you my prediction. But, Harry, what you thinking? This is a game you need to win. Like, when you look at the schedule, like the Vikings on paper are the fourth team in the division, although I still think they're going to be solid. Mm -hmm. You need to beat them at home. Like, yep. you need to beat them at home. Uh, so it's not going to be a gimme, but it's a game that you need to go out and try and win, which obviously you try to win every game. But, you know, when these schedules come out, you identify games. They're like, okay, I need to win this, need to win that. Like, this is one that's close to a need-to-win game uh, for Chicago. Now, you're 7-3 and three in these sims, so you got a little buffer, but uh, schedule's ramping up here. So it would be nice to get that eighth win uh, before Thanksgiving here. That would be nice. So... Shout Let's out see Timothy, 3117, DC Viper going 277, Johnny 287, and Bobby Brown 2014. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Bears going to kick off here, which typically they win when they get the ball to start the second half. So that's a, that's a good sign as Chicago boots it away. Vikings going to bring it out past the 10, 15, up to about the 21. 22 officially. All right, here we go. Here comes J.J. McCarthy. Let's see what he brings to the table. I wonder what his Madden overall is. 71, 80 speed, pretty good athlete, as you guys know. Decision-making conservative. That's uh, that's pretty accurate. He didn't put the ball in harm's way much in college. All righty, here we go. Minnesota, Chicago. These games are usually weird, clunky ones. Yeah. Just like, the way the Madden Sim engine is, too. Yeah. J.J. McCarthy. Going to play action, boot to the left, throws across his body. That wasn't conservative. That was a nice little throw. 16 yards to, uh, is that Powell there? Below Brandon Powell? Powell? Or Brandon Powell, excuse me. Is he going to be the Luke McCaffrey? Yes. Is he the Luke McCaffrey? <laughs> He's a prime Luke McCaffrey candidate. He really is. Oh, man. JJ. Quick throw to the right side. Misses that one. So he makes the dart while rolling left. Yep. And misses a simple flat route on a, a three-step drop. Yeah. Classic Madden. Can't make this up. Can I make it up? Apparently, by the way, <laughs> for those watching live, and if you're not, you're like, this happened days ago. Um, as McCarthy in the pocket launches left side, incomplete. It's going to be third and ten type those threes. 
Apparently, Cristiano Ronaldo had a uh, penalty in regulation to win, and he had it blocked. Wow. They ended up winning, and uh, apparently Ronaldo was crying. Well, lives to see another game. Dang. JJ on third and ten. Looking, throws left side. I think he's short. Fourth and inches. Let's go. We'll see if they go. Tyreek Stevenson forces Justin Jefferson out of bounds. Near midfield. Will Kevin O'Connell go for this early? Type those fours. Let's see. And they are. are oh, they're going to pawn it. Pawn it. Soft. Soft. Bikes booted away. Not a good one. Dude, what's up with these shanks on Madden? 30-yard punt. And no Last issues. game, the guy for the other team was <laughs> yep. kicking him straight out of bounds. Yeah. Terrific. I think we had like a 15-yard punt last game, which is insane. Incredible. Bumper down. Just a reminder, though, too, if y'all want to get some questions in the chat, we'll answer them. Yeah, we'll shoot the shit with you guys, ask about the real team, whatever. <laughs> Pat Hunt, we'd be 10-0 and 0 with Luke McCaffrey. You might not be wrong because the game we played Luke McCaffrey, he uh, he went off. I don't even who's he playing for? Uh, Washington. Washington, that's right. Williams steps up, throws it underneath. Ooh, bit of a hospital ball there. Comet gain of six. Gain o six. Be second and four. Here we go. Here well, we, we ever go. see the polar bear game. The who? The polar bear unis. DC I'd, lo I'd love to see some all-whites, man. Williams hands it off. Swift. He'll pick up a first gain of about eight. Could be a little... Maybe we get a little more DeAndre Swift this game, Colin. They've gone a little pass-heavy the last couple games, which I'm all for, but... Right. Let's see if they can uh, pound the rock a little bit here. Wouldn't hate it. Like you said, I think it's one of the more underrated signings the Bears made all offseason. season. Yeah, and uh, we're going to have an episode up, depending on when you're watching this, might already be out of DeAndre Swift and uh, talking about him and his potential impact. Caleb Williams throws a dart to DJ Moore, who points for a first down. Type those ones. I agree, Team Mag. If you're going to go with the Polar Bears, white helmet with the bear logo. That's the play. That is absolutely the play. Hey, where are you going on vacation? I'll be in Colorado, up in the mountains. Cool off. It's hot as hell right now, so getting some 70s temperature. If you guys are going on vacay, let me know where you're going. Caleb Williams, zone read, keeper. Fumble. He fumbled! And the Vikings recover. Damn it. His second fumble of the season. I think he fumbled way back in like week two. Mm. He hadn't fumbled since. But puts that one on the turf. Hmm. F's. Just, just trot out of bounds there, or slide. Colin Harrison to use Manscape to shave your. Uh, uh, I don't, but you can. We know a code that you can use. Man, Bears uh, promo code Bears twenty twenty percent off. Shout out Manscape. All right, first and 10 at the 34, offset eye formation for J.J. McCarthy. Bikes get stopped on their first drive, and Caleb Williams turns it over on the Bears, so still scoreless. Oh, under pressure, mm. hit, incomplete. It's almost a fumble. Yeah. Zach Pickens in there, lighting it up. I'd like to see that. What is Minnesota doing with Dallas Turner? Um, it's a good question. I would assume he'll start because they lost uh, the Neil Hunter. Mm -hmm. They also lost, who was that they other defensive end that signed with Carolina? The Bears were interested in him briefly. Yes. McCarthy throws incomplete over the middle. They did sign Jonathan Grenard from Houston. They did sign Grenard. I think him and uh, Turner will start. Yeah. I would expect them to be the two starters. Was it Clowney that signed with Carolina? And, or, well, it was no, Clowney, but it's it was the, uh... DJ Wanham. Thank you, Christian. Yep. The Bears... Uh, he was going to visit the Bears, but after his Carolina visit, they uh, they didn't let him leave the building. Oh, backside Maybe. pressure. Ooh. McCarthy throws it away. Or no. Yeah, I kind of threw it away. Got to bring up fourth down. Another stop for the defense. 
Tell you what, the defense has kind of locked it in the last few Madden Sims. They really have. They've been locking it in. Yeah. Really, since that um, Ben don't break. that Commanders loss, they've uh, they've been locking it in. Need it. Another punt here. This one's a little better. Decent return out to about the 37 for DeAndre Carter. And that is where the Bears will take over after trying to get over on the first drive. But they were moving it, so let's get back to that. Going, on, keep going. Do you think McCarthy will turn out like Fields and struggle as a passer? Well, it's a little different, to be honest. Yeah, their skill sets really aren't that similar. They're both good athletes, but he's nowhere near the runner of Justin. He also is nowhere near the vertical thrower of Justin. He'll probably be better in the quick game than Fields. His underneath accuracy will, will be better as well. Um, but I think, Mc, I think best case scenario for McCarthy to me is like good Alex Smith. Yes. Good athlete, yeah. good decisions, not going to challenge teams vertically that often. He's got a better arm than Alex Smith, but he doesn't throw that good of a deep ball. That's something he really needs to work on. Caleb hands it off. Swift. I think he's going to get there. First down. Type those ones. Yeah, I think uh, I think J.J. McCarthy, if you get good Alex Smith, I mean, you're pretty happy with that. I mean, Alex Smith at his peak was a top 10 NFL quarterback, so. Yeah. Underrated. That's all I'm say. Yeah. Now, Andy Reid got the most out of him, but Kevin O'Connell's a good offensive coach. Williams throws on the run, and Komet just didn't look for that. <laughs> Classic DB. Byron Murphy. Classic. Fields give me Caleb McNown vibes. Come on. That's disrespectful. Nagy screwed Justin. He didn't handle him well, for sure. He gave him no reps in training camp, but then when Dalton got hurt week two, he threw him out into the fire, so... Not a great uh, setup there. Swift just missed the place to go. If he bounces that left, he might still be running. What is his ball carrier vision? Madden Sims strikes again. <laughs> Third and six at the Vikings 49. Let's see if they convert here. Yeah. Bears run a lot of this tight formation, you know, two on either side. Yeah. Be interesting. Caleb. Those on the run. Caught. DJ Moore. Type those ones. You watch Shane Waldron call mm -hmm. offense in Seattle a lot. Yep. When he's cooking, what does he like running? Like, what formations? I know he's pretty multiple. Like, he's yeah. going to mix it up. He, I know he're, he, he's going to run a decent three wide receiver sets. He yep. likes using multiple tight ends, too. So, he, yep. he definitely mixes it up, but... What do you think he does best? I think what he does best is he really needs like his one of his weaknesses as a offensive coordinator is getting too I guess comfortable with kind of his sets and thinking like hey, I can, you know, run this all over no matter what the defense is and run it, but if he can get that running game going with Swift, his play action calls and deep yeah. shots are some of the most timely I've seen from an offensive coordinator. Yeah, Walker and Charbonnet got banged up last year as Caleb throws a dart yeah. there. Yeah, I think that's a big reason why they signed Swift. That they, they wanted more reliability and production out of the running backs. Um yeah. as Keenan Allen got hurt there. Yeah, Could we see fun. some Tyler Scott here? Maybe. I haven't seen him much in these. Yeah. I just think Waldron's gonna frustrate at times. I mean any offense coordinator is, right? Because they He's the most critic uh, OCs are the most criticized, I think, people in the NFL. Easily. Um, but I think he's really good in the, sh the quick game. He will use his bubble screens. He will uh, feature his running backs in the passing game. So Another reason why you get swift. Yeah. And off. Yeah. Maybe you're, oh my gosh, another injury. This time it's Harrison Phillips. Yeah. I really think, too, like, Khalil Herbert might have a role in this offense. I don't know, again, Swift's great between the tackles and everything, yeah. but having that second punch. Look, Herbert, the run scheme is going to be similar to what they had con conceptual-wise with Luke Getze, and Herbert ran well in that system as Swift gets stuffed here. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, look again. I'm not looking to. A- I'm not actively shopping Herbert. I just if they like Roshan, yep. it would be curious to see how they kind of divvy that out here. Yep. So we are here at the end of the first quarter. Zero zero ball game. Not a not a. Bang bang. We do got some jerseys down below from or for. The newest franchise quarterback of the Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams. We got him in navy. We got him in white. Got him in orange. Make sure you pick up one today. Represent the Chicago Bears ahead of the 2024 NFL season. Use the code below, chatsports.com slash Caleb. You know what to do. All right, go to that link, chatsports.com slash Caleb. You'll be good to go. Pick one up today. Okay. All right, third and nine at the 11. I formation. Yeah. Interesting. Williams. Straight drop, looking, looking, steps up. He can scramble. He will. Will he get to the sticks? Fourth and one. What will Matt Eberflus do? What would you do? Type G for go or or K for kick. G for go, K for kick. Big hit there. Looks like defense is running off the field. I think they're going to kick this here. D-Mag, Ron, Bob, and Josh all saying go. They're going to kick the field goal. 20-yarder from the right hash. Up and through. All right. Gotten two stops from your defense, and you've only turned it into three points. That's not super ideal. Get those threes in. Three nothing. Get those threes in. Yeah. Also, too, Shane Waldron would forget his tight ends at times. I mean, him him just not using Noah Fan was one of the biggest criticisms he got. So yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of weapons, which is a good thing. But yeah, can't forget about number eighty-five. Yeah, and I mean Gerald Everett and him overlapped in L.A. So, well, and Seattle too, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, for a year, I think. Um, so. Yeah. Everett Everett talked about how he yeah. likes likes his concept. So. I'm intrigued, man. I mean, the the Caleb Waldron relationship is the most important one for this season. Like yeah. those guys got to gel. Yeah. And I'm not trying to speak negatively on the guy. I think honestly, for Caleb's first OC, you got a pretty good one. Honestly. Yeah. I really no, do. I mean, like, look, the great great OCs aren't available, but I think among the guys that were, he was near at or near the top of the list. Yeah. McCarthy into the flat. Pick up of about five. And it's not like he got fired either. It's just when they moved on from Pete, that right. staff just became available. 100%. So Ultimately, too, and listen, I'm a Seattle guy. Geno Smith's not Caleb Williams. No. So. If Caleb's who we think he is and Waldron can coach to his strengths, like, it should work out pretty well. McCarthy, handoff, big hole here, still running. Who's that, Aaron Jones? Yeah. That's PTSD. <laughs> I know. That's an interesting I was number. so happy when he left the Packers, and then he goes to the damn Vikings. Yeah. I'd rather face him in Minnesota than Green Bay, though. It's very true. On paper, this is the best offense we've ever put on the field. You can make that argument. There's no question. McCarthy throws over the middle. Nice ball to Jefferson. Yeah. About a 20-yard pickup. Into Bears territory, 41. Yeah. Jetta's so good, man. That's why I still think the Vikings are going to be solid. I mean, they have yeah. Jetta, Jordan Addison, that O-line solid. Darius was one of the best young left tackles. I mean, the um, Vikings They had Aaron Jones, <laughs> and yeah. their defense is kind of average, but what's-his-name elevates them. Yep. DC, Brian uh, oh, Flores. Flores. Yep. He's a great play caller. Another good ball to Jefferson. Here come the Vikings. Yeah. Like, they might win seven or eight games and get fourth in the division. It's 100%. very possible. Nagy! What's uh, up, man? Matt Nagy is back. <laughs> Offset eye formation. J.J. McCarthy. Five-step drop. Throws. Right side. Caught. He's found a rhythm here. Yeah, Jordan Addison that time. Hit three in a row. Nagy, did you just come out of a meeting or something? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Garrett Temple is still playing. 
back to the Raptors. Yes, so. McCarthy, handoff. Jones looking to bounce it. And someone, that should have been, whoever that was, should have shedded that block pretty easily. Touchdown, Vikings. <laughs> Matt Nagy, I'm in a QB meeting as we speak. Yeah, if my QB room had Patrick Mahomes in it, I could tune into YouTube as well during <laughs> meetings. Uh, man. All right, 6-3. Nagy was a double doink away from being a Bears legend. It's one of the biggest what-ifs in NFL history, I think. That defense could have carried that team pretty far, I think. But we'll never know. And the um, the Bears, if I remember correctly, would have played the Rams in the second round. Jared Goff was seeing ghosts against that Bears defense that year. They picked them off four times at Soldier Field. Now, it would have been... Would have been in L.A., so climate control, but I would have given the Bears at least a 50-50 shot to win that game and get to the NFC title game. That defense in 2018 was unbelievable. Yeah. Was that the year that, like, the first game was against uh, Rodgers, like, prime time? They, like, obliterated him? That – no. Yes. Yeah, that's when Khalil Matt went crazy yeah, in his first Khalil game. Yeah. And then the next yeah. year, they played the Packers week one again, and there was all the side bears. This is their year of Super Bowl, and they lose 10-3, to and Trubisky was horrific. And it was like, yeah. he might be bad. <laughs> like This might, this might yeah. be a problem. Yeah, 15-6, to Josh, against the Rams. They, I mean, Goff was in absolute shambles at Soldier Field that night. Flag on the play. Holding. That's not a good way to start a drive. Braxton Jones. Be first and 20. I'll never forget that first Khalil Mack game in 18. After they made that big trade, it's like, oh my God, this defense is going to be unbelievable. And it was. But uh, the offense wasn't good enough. Williams. Takes the snap, gets hit on the blitz, but he finds Swift. Gets that penalty yardage back, plus a couple more to be second and eight. Yeah. Good job under pressure finding the outlet. Yeah. That's another question, too. Like, I wonder what the over-under is for Swift receiving yards this year. Well, he's never had less than 39 catches in a season. Let me look at his career. Because I would imagine he has a chance to break whatever his high is. As he gets a hole Oh, here. what a run for Swift. Oh! Swift house call, 70 yards. Touchdown, Bears. Type TD in the chat. DeAndre Swift goes the distance. What a run. He His career high is 452 receiving yards. Mm -hmm. You okay. can top that. It's just... The only reason I would I would probably take less than that is just there's so many mouths to feed. Yeah, there is. But it's a real thing. But I do think like he's caught as many as sixty two balls and as few as thirty nine. I, I would take forty or more. I think he'll hit forty catches. Especially if Herbert is RB two because they're not going to use Herbert as a pass catcher that often. No. Let's go. Yeah, he turned on the afterburners there. Yeah, he did. Big response. 2-11 left in the half. Bears get the ball at halftime. It'd be huge if he could get a stop here and get the ball with the lead to start the third quarter. Shout out to Tyler, T-Mag, Ron, Josh, Edwin getting their TDs in. Bang, bang. Time to get swift, dude. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, here come the Vikings. 15-20. Out to about the 22. Admittedly, every time somebody takes a kickback against the Bears, I do have a little PTSD. Well, yeah, I'm after looking. that one game where somehow a 56-yard field goal took three seconds and not four, and with one second left, they house-called it. I think it was the Jags game in Jags. London. It was the Jags game. It was the game in London that wasn't in London. Yes. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, Josh, how do you rank our secondary this year? I think it's a top-five secondary in football. Jalen Johnson's one of the best corners in the league. Tyreek Stevenson, the second half of last year, established himself. Kyler Gordon's a top 10 nickel. You've got 
a good safety tandem in Brisker and um, Kevin Byard. As long as Byard's solid and better than Eddie Jackson, you really don't have a weakness in the secondary. I think it's a really good secondary. Yeah. McCarthy on second and five after the two-minute warning here. Takes the snap, four-man rush, all day to throw. Throws, caught, up near midfield. Brandon, Brandon Powell. Powell. That's his second catch. Minute 45 left here until halftime. Three or less here. Don't give up a touchdown. I'll be I'm okay with three. Going no huddle, even though we just saw him get no huddle. McCarthy. Fires over the middle. Caught again. Jordan Addison. Good grief. Addison. Inside the 40. True. McCarthy started terribly. I, he's hit like seven throws in a row. He's really hit him. True story before. Uh, the draft, I was higher on Addison than I was JSN. And I was devastated when oh, you know, really? we passed on him. How do you pretty feel about it now? Pretty even. Yeah. But. Addison had a good rookie year. McCarthy, this looks like a busted play. He'll lose three yards. Yeah. Under a minute now. Well, yeah, there's a timeout. Well, he plays for the Vikings, so now he's the end. <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah, Addison's solid. Yeah. He just he is what he is. He's a... Number two and possibly a number one in some offenses. Who knows? Yeah. I feel like JSN has more wide receiver one potential, but I feel like Addison's the safer bet to be have, like, have a longer, more productive career. It's not a bad take. I don't hate that. McCarthy takes the snap, throws left side, caught, first down. Yeah. Justin Jefferson, 49, 48. 47, 46, 45, 44. If it came down to it, like, are you picking J.J. or Tyreek Hill as your wide receiver one? Gosh. Because it's probably one of those two, right? I mean, if I'm starting a team, I'll take Jetta because he's four years younger. But if right. it's for one season, I'd probably still take Tyreek, which may sound crazy, but, like, that dude just changes. I'm not saying Jetta doesn't change how you play defense, but, like, if you don't play too deep against Tyreek Hill, you're kind of like you're asking. You're asking to just give up. And every time that guy touches the football, I'm terrified he's going to score. I yeah. like, he is. I think he's a top three most feared offensive player in NFL history. Like he is incredible with his speed and his change of direction. McCarthy fires Ooh. and complete. Twenty one seconds left. See if wow. the Bears can clamp down. It's hard to say, though. Like, I mean, Jetta is so good, too. And, like, definitely if it's beyond a season or two, I would take him because he's, what, 24? <laughs> like, he's going to be great for probably another 10 years. Whereas Tyreek, the speed will start to wane eventually. He's probably got you know, three to five really good years left. McCarthy throws wide open. God, what a terrible defensive sequence. Got an eyelash in my eye. Oh, jeez. Well, right as I praise the defense, Colin, two very easy touchdown drives. Would you take Jetta or Tyreek? I would probably still – I would take Tyreek for the next – if it's two or three years, I'll still take Tyreek just slightly because, like, of all the points you mentioned. But Jay Jetta's over the long haul is – Yeah. I mean, no he's question. insane. Yeah. I just, I, there's just something about having to defend Tyreek Hill that is just like – It's different. Yeah, it's it's tough, man. It really is. Naggy, typical floos D. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, credit to KOC for you know being a really good offensive mind, but you can't let JJ McCarthy tear it up like this. No, he's hit like ten throws in a row, I think. Or well, I guess he just threw the one in completion finally, but right. like ten for his last eleven. Let's see if the Bears can bust a kickoff return here. Get an opportunity. 20, 25, 27. It's Andre Carter. All right, 13 seconds. See how aggressive they get with three timeouts. You got maybe two plays before a Hail Mary or field goal attempt. Appreciate it, Nicholas. <laughs> Nagy, when's the last time you talked to Ryan Poles? <laughs> Here it is. Good stuff. Caleb, they're just going to play it safe. DeAndre. And a four, and then you take a timeout. Why not throw it then? 
By the way, how does a four-yard run take five seconds and a 56-yard yep. field yep. goal take three? So Ma- Madden's a cooked product. <laughs> no one talks to rifles. I agree with you, Gregory. <laughs> Second and six. Williams throws. Check down. Yeah. And let's take a timeout. Hey, it's good for those receptions. Yeah, let's, let's get those fantasy points, fellas. <laughs> Third and five. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Credit Eberflus to make J.J. McCarthy look like Tom Brady. Well, they are both Michigan men. Maybe there's a connection. They are both Michigan men. All right, here we go. Williams on third and five, but three seconds left in the half. Oh, my God. They're going to do a Hail Mary from the 30. I just threw it out of bounds. What the hell? Because remember last game, they didn't do one from midfield, and then yep. the Madden centers. They're just so bad. You just don't know what you're going to get, man. I don't know. All right. Uh, chatsports.com slash Rome to pick up a Rome Adunze jersey. Get one today. Chatsports.com slash Rome. That link is also in the comments and description of this video. Chatsports.com slash Rome. Also, who do you guys think is going to win the division this year? CHI for the Bears, GB for the Packers. You can also put FGB. DET for the Lions or MIN for the Vikings. Cast your votes and let's get to the second half. All right, 14-10. Bears will receive the second half kickoff and need to score, man. Need to get the lead back. This first drive is very crucial. Very crucial. No question. The Bears. The Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears. All righty. Here we go. All right, Madden. Enough of the animations. Let's get to the kickoff here. <laughs> All righty. Robert, it's not a bad take. I mean, it's it's hard for a rookie QB to pick to win a division year one. I, here in July, I would pick Detroit. I'll I'm gonna get through preseason and training camp before I give a final prediction on the North, but I admittedly would pick Detroit right now. Now I do think the Bears potentially have leapfrogged Green Bay, but obviously they got to beat them head to head too. So we'll they, see. They didn't Madden. That's all I'm saying. Yep, that's true. Carter. Ooh, close yeah. line. Gets to 24. Yeah. All right, Caleb, let's go, buddy. Real quickly, too, because um, we did make the switch from DeAndre Carter from Bayless Jones. Who do you want kick, uh, returning kicks this year? Bayless or DeAndre Carter? If Bayless is on the team, I want him returning kicks. That's the only thing he's for sure better at than Carter. Now, Carter would return punts because Bayless can't catch punts. But... <laughs> He max says Rome. Caleb throws right side, caught. It's also a great option. I think that was Tyler Scott. No, Keenan Allen back in the game. Injury must not have been serious. The nod says Bayless, baby. If he's available, should I pick Caleb Williams in fantasy football? I was thinking about this the other day. Where do you think he goes in like ten man leagues? Ten man leagues. I don't Is see- he a star I don't think he's a starter, no. but he's definitely getting drafted, I think. No, 100%. Depending on – now, some people don't draft two quarterbacks, but yeah, I think he's probably between QB 10 and 15 in most drafts. Say 12 to 15, yeah. Like, if you're in a 12-man league, there's no reason that he can't flirt with the idea of being a QB 1. Yeah. But – He's a guy that I think teams will take in, like, the middle rounds to, like, stash. And, mm. and like, if he's awesome, then you could trade your starter. Second and two after a completion to commit. They just have so many weapons now. You just figure they're going to throw the football a decent amount. And he'll run just enough to give you some extra, you know, two to four points per week as yeah. a runner as well. Yeah. Occasional touchdown. He'll rush for 20, 30 yards here and there. We'll see. Are you a big fantasy guy? Uh, yeah, I've been playing for a while, actually. I actually just sent out a text to everybody. I'm collecting dues, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I uh, 
I've played for a long time. I, admittedly, the last couple of years, I haven't been as into it. I think that's more of a result of just time allocation in my life than anything right. else. It's not like I like it way less as Swift has a nice run here. Gets about seven. Um, I don't know. Just the older you get, the more busy you are, I think. So um, I used to be, I used to do like four or five leagues. Now I do like one, maybe two. Yeah. Like I've got, I commission a league with some high school and buddy and college buddies. And I usually will play like one other one, but yeah, I don't have time to do that many leagues anymore. No. Yeah. I got, two that I'm in, and that's the two that I'm committed oh, to. Oh, no. That might have been a touchdown. It was a little RPO slant to a Dunze, and he threw it a yard out in front. Yeah. How many you said you play? Two. And one of them we're just now starting. It's a Dynasty League, so. I, I will say this. I kind of want to do a Dynasty League at some point. Um, yeah. But it's almost like I just. It's a commitment. Yeah, it's a commitment, and I almost feel like I've, like, missed the boat. I wish. I kind of wish I would have changed the league I commissioned to to a dynasty league like three years ago. Yeah. We talked about it, but not enough people wanted to do it, so I was like, eh, we're not going to change it then. Yeah. Swift gets a first down. I mean, we literally just took the league that we were in and we just created a new one. So, so like a regular and then... So when you start a dynasty league, yep. I guess the first year is standard draft, yep. and then from there it kind of kicks in to dynasty mode? It does. Williams throws. Yeah, we haven't done our draft yet, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, the draft would be different, though. You're going to go younger, typically. Right. In Dynasty Leagues, Caleb's going to go high. Mm-hmm. In established Dynasty Leagues, is he the number one pick? He might I be. Been, I, I've done, like, two mock drafts. He's not the number one pick. Maybe Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, but it's... I don't know. There's a lot of different strategy. Like we were talking about earlier, obviously, Justin Jefferson would go higher than Tyreek Hill. In that one, so. No, I meant, like, in leagues that already have... like Oh, I see Like, if this is the third year of your dynasty league, Caleb might go, like, if you're just drafting rookies, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it's either Caleb oh, or Marvin. Oh, no, Caleb's definitely for sure. Probably Sorry. Caleb one, Jaden Daniels two, mm-hmm. Drake May three, Marvin Harrison four, something like that. Third and four here. This is a big play. This drive's taking four minutes of the quarter. Set up a screen. Williams hit Swift. Let's first go. down. Good. We did get a $2 super chat from Tito. Tito. Switch the playbook. Get off the Getsy playbook. You know, we could – let's switch to the Seattle playbook for the next game because okay. that would be the Waldron offense. Y'all want to do that? The Seattle offense for the next game? Yeah. We'll do that. We can do that. Um, yeah. I'll just have to remind myself, but, yeah, we can do that. We'll make that happen. We'll if make you, it happen. If you've already run the next sim, I that's mean, good. Just w- I'm about to say I may or may not have. but Just whichever sim you haven't run next. Oh, Swift! Swift! It's been the Swift game. Touchdown. Type TD. Type TD. Touchdown, Bears. Let's go. Oh, doing a little dance with Darnell Wright and Gerald Everett. Now Caleb's going to have two old seasons, same good. season. How about Nate Davis with the block there? Let's go, hey. Nate. Good vibes only. Mm. Excuse me. Let's go. <laughs> Matt Nagy, now Caleb's going to have to. Yeah, you, you know all about that. Extra point is good. 17 14. 11 plays, 75 yards, and almost four and a half minutes. Yeah. See if the defense can get a stop. Mr. Fell said Nate Davis carried that drive. Yeah, no. <laughs> Caleb would definitely be one. I think. Daniels would be. He might go one in some leagues with he his might. running ability. He might. But. Well. <sighs> yeah, I've never done a dynasty league. Never too late. Never too late. Do you, are you more into fantasy or sports betting? More fantasy, yeah. Fantasy. I'm, I'm no Smitty. <laughs> well, not many are. <laughs> Bears booted away, bring out the return, past the 20 to about the 22. Yeah. I mainly, like, whenever I look up, like, lines and stuff, it's just really to give me a baseline of how Vegas is thinking. Because, I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, those guys are trying to make money, so they're going to put in a lot more research than the average person, obviously. So. Yeah, no doubt. I think if I ever won the lottery, I would really like, like, and I just didn't have to have a real job or whatever. I think I would spend like hundreds of hours like trying to become like a sharp better. 
Like, I, I think that'd be fun to do. I just don't have enough money to do it. Like, right. right. McCarthy throws yeah. and of eight. I forget. I was listening to, um, you've obviously heard of Nick Wright, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. So he had a buddy that was like a real sharp head better that mm-hmm. became like one of the best sports gamblers in the world. And he oh, like really? wrote a book about it and like how he developed this formula Formulas. and all this stuff. Yeah. I feel like that would be pretty interesting. Yeah. Some guys have figured it out. I mean, that Warren Sharp guy, he's like, over the last like 10 years, I think he's close to 60% or something like that. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Anytime you win three out of your five bets. Yeah, you're, it's a good you're, thing. you're netting a profit. Harrison, you call this a real job? You're getting paid to watch Madden. Um, these Madden Sims, admittedly, uh, are uh, don't seem like work. Uh, they actually, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes. But yeah, I mean, look, we get to talk about sports, but you guys also don't see what we're not, what we're doing when we're not uh, making the videos. Not that we take it for granted, but um, yeah. we put in a lot of work, man. Yeah. Put in a lot of work. Yeah, if it was that easy, anybody. Could. Yeah, exactly. Second and two could be the final play of the quarter. They may not even snap it. Yeah, Yeah, they won't. Get your fours up. Fours up. Get your fours up. Get them up, get them up. Mr. Fell says, hot take. Bryce Young takes a step forward. They're going to challenge Tampa for the division. I don't think Carolina's close. I think they've made – I think they had a decent offseason, but – I think that pretty decent offseason will have them go from the worst team in football to still a bottom five team in football and still potentially the worst. I, yeah, they I were that. horrific last year. I don't have any reason to believe Bryce Young is going to take that step. I think Canales can help him. I mean, right. he was on that staff in Seattle when, mm-hmm. when Geno got going again with Waldron. He helped Baker last year. So, like, I think – it's a good hire from that standpoint, but is he ready to be a head coach? That's a whole different thing. He just looks small, man, and he's not yeah. as elusive as he was at Alabama, or at least he doesn't look that way. No, he's not. That's the thing. Like, when you're that size, you better be Kyler with yep. your elusiveness, and he is not Kyler. Yeah, or Russ back in the heyday. Like, one yeah. of those guys where it's elite athleticism. Yeah, like, he's a good athlete, but, like, he's not even – like, Caleb's a better athlete, and he's a lot bigger. Mm-hmm. McCarthy throws – big hit. Second and eight. Like, he's a, like, above-average athlete, which for a 6'2 guy is fine. But when you're – I mean, he's – 5'10's generous for him, dude. Yeah. Like, uh, I just uh, – I worry about him having see. high level of success. McCarthy takes the snap. Looking. Still looking. Throws left side. Caught. Jetta. No pass rush. No pass rush. Yeah, Carol. Don't think Carolina has enough. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, takes draft take draft. Bryce Young out of it. I just don't like. Yeah. Obviously, Stroud would have done better there, but like, I don't think Stroud does what he did in Houston in Carolina last year. Yeah. I mean, they had nothing. Mm-hmm. Adam Thielen's your number one. He can't separate. <laughs> Carthy play action throws incomplete. He had a guy missed him. Got to be second and ten. Yeah. I'm very interested to see if and when McCarthy gets on the field this year. I feel like we'll see him at some point, but I don't think it'll be early. I think the earliest would be November, bargain injury. Before or after Thanksgiving? Depends on when loss. If they're 500 and in the mix, they probably ride Darnold this year. If they're like w- clearly out of it, then I bet Thanksgiving's around the time they'd make a switch. That seems about right. Ten to twelve weeks in, if you're, I don't know, if they're three and seven or something, like mm-hmm. at that point, play McCarthy. But yep, if they're five and five or even like five and six, four and six, like as long as you're still in the hunt for a wild card, like don't force McCarthy out there because I, I don't think he's ready. Yeah. First down, as the Vikes enter the red zone, he's yeah. looked pretty ready on Madden. Yeah. That's just – it's an offensive Bob, journey. you guys are missing a good game. Oh, we're watching. We're just talking. <laughs> First and ten at the 19. We're going to have to go. McCarthy 
looking, throws in zone, just shy of the end zone. Oh, is that going to be? Yeah, wow, they... lost his progress. Still a gain of eight, but it's costly there. Jetta, he's been busy. <laughs> I have a bad feeling Nate Davis is going to have Caleb running for his life. I hope that's not the case. McCarthy on second and two. Looking. Throws. This time end zone. This time caught. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. That dude is sick, man. Oh, lordy. Well, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Got 2.45 to go. Three timeouts. Go do it, Caleb. So got a lot of time here. A lot of time. Extra important extra point. This would eliminate field goals. Yep, 21-17. So Bears got 245, three timeouts, two minute warning, field goal out of the equation. You got four downs to work with. Let's get it. Will Caleb lead a go ahead drive? Why for yes and for no? Get your votes in the comments. Even QB one. Why for yes and for no? When does Pinnock start? I doubt this year. Yeah, he's gonna be even later than McCarthy. Although if Atlanta's like three and six, the noise will be loud in Atlanta. Yes. Here comes DeAndre Carter. Like, what if they're three and six and Cousins just does not look the same off that Achilles? Yeah. I mean, he drafted cool. Pinnock for a reason. And it's not like he's a guy you need to develop for a while. He's twenty four. He's yeah. ready to go. He's, if anything, the opposite of why Atlanta drafted him, like a drafting stash. It's yeah, like, kind like of I, is kind of... They clearly fell in love with him after they signed Cousins and felt like they couldn't pass on him, but it's still just like, man, that is yeah. that is questionable front office management. Williams throws over the middle, caught, commit, gain of about seven. Let's give him eight with forward progress. Second and two. Second and two. Here we go. Yeah, Josh, he is already a veteran. You're right. Mm-hmm. Williams takes the snap. Hand off to Swift. No gain. That's going to be the two-minute warning. Swift has 127 yards and two touchdowns, but... It's got to be throwing the football from here, this point forward. You could you could do it there with the two-minute warning, but not much more running, I don't think. Third and two. Who are they going to go to? I'm going to call Komet right here. That'd be nice. I'll go Keenan Allen. Throws. Caught. It was neither. Romadunze. Type those ones. Romadunze. Get the Roms in the chat. Penix is probably the biggest draft shocker of all time. It's up there, man. It is. That first Caleb the Rome touchdown is going to hit like crack. No, oh, it's going to be an electric factory. And we'll be live for it. Right here. Williams. Takes the snap. Looking. O-line holds up. Fires downfield. Oh, indeed. Oh, my. Touchdown. Oh, oh what a catch. He launched that like 65 in the air. Who caught that, Rome? They're yes! Doing Let's go! <laughs> that was launched! Holy smokes! That was a moon ball. Holy shit. He threw that like 66 in the air. Easy. Double Over coverage. Didn't matter. But Trust a Dunze beats him. Wow. Spam those TDs. Let's go. Right after I say it, too. Need to make the extra point to make it a three-point game. Matt Nagy in the chat. JF1 is him. Cairo Santos knocks it through. So, nah. field goal would tie. Touchdown would take the lead. A stop would win the game. Defense. 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 Let's go. Oh, man. Too much time left, though. Well... You take the points and worry about that later. I'll, I'll say this right now. That may have been the play of the season. That was an absolute bomb. What a throw and catch. 
By the way, why is DJ Moore on, spe on the kickoff unit right now? That's a great question. That makes no sense. DC says Caleb has a rocket arm, so Madden is accurate after all. Yeah, he can launch it. All right, they're going to bring it five yards deep. Bad decision. Don't get to the 20. All right. Oh, my God. I'm not, not, read, not reading that out loud. <laughs> Jet has gone Sorry. nuclear. Okay. The jizzer cyst. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Hamster? That is gross, dude. That is. That is not a visual I need. All right. About 50 yards away from field goal range and 81 from a touchdown. McCarthy looking. Throws underneath. Picked. Picked. Picked off. Let's go. Kyler Gordon. Type INT. JJ wasn't ready for the moment. <laughs> Defense steps up when needed. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, Ooh. JJ. Oh, JJ. Let's go. Vikes still have all three timeouts, so if they force a field goal, they could still go win this game. But if you get one first down, this game's pretty much over. And obviously, if you score a touchdown, it's definitely over. Did I read that right? 150-plus total yards for DeAndre Swift today? Oh, he's gone off. Whew. It was like 130 rushing and like 30 receiving. Caleb Williams... Hands it off, Swift, nothing. They're going to sell out on the run. Yeah. I'd run it again on second and then make a decision on third because you don't want to go up six here. You need to get a first down or score a touchdown. How many interceptions will Kyler get this season? I'm going to say three. Three picks for Gordon. Give me three. All right, second and 11 here. Williams. And off again, Swift gets a good block that time. Picks up about four. Third and seven. I think you got to trust your quarterback here. Because if, if you run it and get stopped, they're right. going to have about a minute five left to go score a touchdown. That's enough time. I think you got to try and pick up this first down. Don't hate it. Would not hate it. <sighs> Scared money don't make money. Third and seven. Williams. Bad snap, retrieves it, steps up, fires it, caught. caught! A missile to DJ Moore, the dagger. Type TD. What a finish in Chicago. What a finish in Chicago. A 60-plus yard bomb, and then a defensive interception, and then on third and seven, you trust your quarterback, and he fires a missile to DJ Moore. To... Stab the Vikings in the heart with the dagger. Almost said Lions. That's next stream. Santos knocks it through. All right. Up 10 with a minute eight to go. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. Let's go. It's electric, man. 52 combined points. I'll take it. It's been a fun game. It's been a fun game. It really has. Really has. All right. Go DJ. That's, That's my DJ. DJ. Go DJ. That's my DJ. All right. Bears gonna kick it away. As they put this game on ice. Here come the Vikings past the 10, 15, 20. Down at about 23. All right. Dextify said spread covered, baby. 52 points and none scored in the first quarter. That's true. That's true. I like the back and forth. Yeah, this has been a fun one. Let's hope JJ doesn't get the hat trick with under a minute left. Yeah, he might still be rattled after that pick. Floyd says pick six. Dude, enough with the hamster, man. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my god, they're just going to hand the ball off. They quit. They're throwing in the white towel. Bunch of bums. They're quitting. Wow. 
All right, 50 seconds, 49, 48. They're throwing in the white towel. Get them out of here. Yet they're going no huddle after that handoff for some reason. <laughs> McCarthy fires left side. Oh, that was oh. almost picked. Tyreek Stevenson. Did he just do the too small? And they hit one of these. <laughs> <laughs> that is the freaking energy. hilarious. All right. I, I'm putting you in timeout for five minutes. Putting you in five five minute timeout. McCarthy spins. Oh, he's under siege, throws it away. I thought we were gonna get a bogus uh rough in the passer there. Fourth and seven. Here we go. This is the ball game. Nick Grimes says he got sent to his room. Dang. Didn't ban him, just, just a little a little, uh, little timeout session. Just let's, let's temper it down a little bit. All right, here's your ball game. Fourth and seven. McCarthy looking. Throws downfield. Oh, caught. Nice catch. Jordan Addison. Oh, man. Final timeout with 20 seconds left. Oh, my God. He's back on a different account. This guy's unbelievable. Give him time to find his hamster. He said he found it. He just said he wasn't breathing. That's another timeout for you. <laughs> McCarthy throws it away. Bro, you are disgusting. He, he might have to get banned. Just a little weird. Second and ten. JJ. Going for it all. Incomplete. Overshot JJ. JJ to JJ. Incomplete. Wouldn't happen if it was Tyree Kill. Nope. Or Roma Dunze. As we saw earlier. <laughs> he probably is a Packers fan. Josh said, I thought I was weird. Jeez. All right, third and ten. McCarthy just throws it away. It'll be fourth and ten. Five seconds left. Can't backdoor cover on a Hail Mary? Hey, you can get a 50-yard field goal onside kick and still have one second left with that. So. Yeah, 60-yarder might only take three seconds. It might. All right, fourth and ten. Likely the last play of the game. McCarthy launches downfield. Tipped. Incomplete. That'll do it. A fourth straight win for the Bears in our Madden streams. Get the dubs in the comments. Bears improve to 8-3. Vikings fall to 4-7. 31-21 final. Type dub in the chat. My name is Harrison Graham. Thanks to everybody for tuning in to our latest Madden simulation. It was a wild one. Uh, I'm going on vacation. Uh, Friday, July 12th will be our next Madden sim when the Bears take on the Lions. So we will see you then.